Good morning, Region 14, the towns of Woodbury and Bethlehem, uh, teachers, colleagues, townspeople, parents, and friends. Uh, as you may know, I'm Dr. O. I'm the superintendent of schools for Region 14, very proud superintendent at this moment, because after one very difficult year, I believe we've done and we've succeeded. With that said, I wanted to give you a short update on where we stand for next year. Right now, we are currently actively um, creating a plan a, and for a full opening of school. That is what our plan is here. We plan on going back full on. And we've been told by the state and by the CDC and by the health districts that that may not last long. But we are planning to come back full force in early in late August, early September. But we are also not naive to the fact that we need to prepare fully for a, a modified day, which means we have to work on social distancing. We can only use uh, or have so many students in the, in the classrooms, in the buildings at the same time. So we have three different plans in place. We are working currently with the administration and the tech, tech advisors to create the full-on day, the normal day that we all came to when we grew up. Then the second one is a ABC day, which was which would be in every other day when the high school began on a separate schedule. And finally would be the unfortunate full-out distance learning day. I will say again, we are planning for a full inclusion day where we're all back at school. But as we're seeing today, this moment, all over the country and now again all over the world, this COVID virus has re-emerged. Re and it may go back down quickly, we don't know. There's a lot of things we don't know about this virus. We do know, however, the following. Our buildings have been super cleaned. We have painted, we have cleaned, we have gone to places that people have not seen in years in these buildings and found dust and made sure everything is super clean. We've renovated the things we needed to renovate. We've changed all the filters in the, in the air ducts. We have made sure that glass is sparkling clean. We've made sure that the grounds are picked up. We are making sure that these are pristine areas of cleanliness, as well as prepared for next year. When the children come back, we will have um, disinfectant uh, sprayers that every room, every evening will be completely covered with this so that we can assure you that we have no germs in our classrooms. Now, with all that said, people just don't know enough about this virus. We are going to continue throughout the summer to keep you updated. We're going to, as soon as I know something, I, sh I shoot it right out to the Board of Education, the teachers, and to the communities. I would ask you to look at the Torrington if you're in Bethlehem Torrington Health District or the Pomprog Health District if you live in Woodbury, their up to the minute information is as pertinent as anything I could get from the state of Connecticut. We've met with the Pomprog Health District and the Torrington Health District. We have met with the selectmen. We have met with the board chairs. There is nothing that we, we know, no rock is too big for us to go come out from under. We want to make sure everything is handled for your children to make sure it's safe. And that is my goal as a superintendent is not only to make sure every bit of our curriculum is met, but to make sure that every child is safe. And I take that job very seriously, as does the Board of Education and all the administration and staff here. Teachers are preparing for all three methods of teaching, but we're going to have to do some training during the summer. So my office, and I will thank all those many, many, many people who stopped by my office at the back of the middle school or made a phone call or just stopped in or even knocked on the window because they were walking. I appreciate your input. Keep it coming. We can never have too many suggestions in times like this. This is when the family, the community that is Region 14 comes together and we are the best and the brightest. Thank you so much. I will keep you updated. And never forget, we're here for you. Have a great summer.